Hi and welcome back. Are you tired of encountering blocked websites or restricted content due to geographical restrictions? Well, keep watching this video as I'm going to explain how to unblock content using your Unify network controller and a VPN service such as private internet access to allow you to access restricted content from other territories. So what you first need to do is go on to the, in this example, privateinternetaccess.com website and set up an account and pay for a valid subscription. My subscription is uh, just on a month to month basis, which will automatically renew. And I'm currently paying uh, £9.99 pence per month. And that's in uh, British pounds. Um, however, they do have very good deals on for if you want to take up, for example, two yearly year or yearly subscriptions with the heavily discounted promotions going on. So just take a look and set up your private internet access account. Once you have done this, you then need to make a note of your username and password. And then once you have done that, what you need to do is from the menu in the private internet access account website, you need to click on downloads and then from the download screen, you need to scroll right down to the bottom and you will see an option to create an open VPN configuration generator. So what you need to do is click on go to open VPN generator. Once you have done that, you will be presented with the Open VPN Configuration Generator screen. And for the Open VPN version, you can leave this selected as Open VPN 2.4 or newer. The platform, I would suggest selecting Linux. And then scroll down and select your region to which you want to be virtually located in. In this example, I'm setting the location to be North America and I'm selecting US Montana and then scroll down further and you'll see it says select port. I will leave this as default, which is UDP 1198 and you'll see it's ticked. Then scroll down further and you'll see the use IP box and that is currently de by default unticked. So I'm going to tick this and then click the generate button. Once you have clicked the generate button, you will be prompted with a window to save the file to your local hard drive. So save this to your local hard drive and then you can log out of your private internet access account. So once you have logged out, you then need to log into your Unify network controller. In this case, I'm running my Unify network on a UDM Pro. And for information, the Unify OS is version 3.1.16. And for the Unify network controller, I'm running version 7.5.176 which is the current public release version at the time of recording this video. So once you are in your network controller, you need to click on the gear icon at the left hand side, which is the cog and which is for settings. Once you are in the settings screen, you then need to select teleport and VPN from the left hand side menu. Then once you're in the teleport and VPN, menu, you need to select VPN client from the top of the screen. Then you will be presented with some options. So you will see it's VPN type set as open VPN. And if you click in the name box, you can give it a name for your connection. It doesn't matter what you call it as long as you can remember what it refers to. So in this case, I'll type in private 
internet access US Montana then in the username box you need to type in or copy and paste your private internet access username and then in the password box you also need to copy and paste or type in your private internet access password then for the configuration file you need to click on upload then from the VPN file that we downloaded a moment ago from the private internet access website you need to double click and click on open to load the file into your UDM Pro. Once you have selected the configuration file, in this case I'm using US Montana, you then need to click on test and save in the bottom right corner. This will then make a connection to your VPN service and then you should be presented with your screen with the name of the internet access for your VPN client, your VPN type, which should be OpenVPN, your local IP, which is now your local IP address for your private internet access service. In this case, it's an IP address located in Montana. And then you will see the uptime which is the timer for how long the connection has been established. Now, at the moment, no traffic will actually go through this private internet access connection. So what we need to do to allow, for example, certain devices or certain websites to be routed through private internet access, what we need to do is click on routing at the left hand side menu. Then you will be presented with traffic groups which should be highlighted in blue by default. Then it will ask you what to route. Now what we can do is if you want to route all traffic from for example a certain device then we can do this with all traffic. So to do this where it says on, we need to click on select a device, which will then bring the drop down list of devices on your network. In this case, I'm going to select the computer that I'm currently using at the moment, which in my case is called Desk01. You can add more than one device here if you want to, by just clicking on further devices to which you want to select. Once you're finished, just click out of the box and you should be presented then with under the on section, you should be presented with all of the devices which are being routed via private internet access. Then for under the interface, you need to click and select the drop down interface under the VPN section for private internet access. In this case, I typed in private internet access US Montana as the name. So this is the connection that I'm going to be selecting. Then under the description, you can give it a description. You don't have to type anything in the box if you don't want to. So in this case, for testing purposes, I'll just leave it blank. So then once you have done that, you need to click on add entry. Then what this will now do is route all internet traffic from this PC via the private internet access VPN connection. So to test this, I'll open a new tab and type in what's my ip.com and then you will see my public IP address and it's now saying that I'm located in the United States of America in the region of North Dakota in the city of Fargo. So this confirms that now all traffic from this PC 
is being routed via the United States of America, thus hiding my true public internet IP address from my internet service provider. So in this case, you should be able to access restricted content, which for example, say has been restricted to the UK from the US. So now as I'm virtually located in the US via private internet access, I should be able to access restricted content. However, I haven't tried this and you will have to just play around and see if it works for yourself to what you want to actually use it for. If it doesn't work, for example, I would suggest going back to the private internet access website as I'm now doing here and then again logging into your account and then going to downloads, scrolling down and then using the open VPN generator again and then testing another location for the country to which you want to use it for. For example, if you're wanting to do streaming, then you could probably select US East Streaming or for example, US West Streaming. So I would just change the connection, change your location, create a new file and test it to see which one works best for your circumstance to which you want to use it for. Now that we're back in the Unify network interface, you will notice that all traffic is being routed from this specific device. Now what you can also do is just restrict it for specific traffic. So I'll show you this now. So let's click on manage for traffic routes and then under private internet access for all traffic, we'll tick this box and click remove then click confirm then we'll click instead of all traffic we'll select specific traffic and then under the category we'll select for example domain name so in the domain name you could enter for example this domain name and then click add you can then add further domain names if you wish such as this one and click add and you can enter as many domain names as you like there then once you have done that under the on again you can select devices or you can select networks or you can actually select all devices so in this case I'm going to select all devices and then under interface Again, we're going to select under VPN, Private Internet Access US Montana. Then what this will do is it will route only traffic for the following two websites listed under domain names here. They will only be routed through the Private Internet Access VPN, meaning that all of that internet traffic will be routed through your normal public WAN internet connection for where you're located. So this could be useful, for example, if you want to watch probably streaming TV, if you're an expat or something like that, where you will be able to catch up on your local TV for your original geographical location. So once you have done that, again, you'll click add entry, which would then route traffic for those two domain names through private internet access and all other internet traffic would be routed through your normal local WAN connection. For example, if we go now to what's my IP, you will now see that I'm based in the United Kingdom again. But if we go to the other websites for those specific ones in that list that we've just created, they will be routed through private internet access. I know this is a short video, but I hope you found this useful. And there are other VPN services out there that may be better 
or less reliable and it's up to you to choose which one. In this example, I've used private internet access as I've found them reliable in the past. Thanks for watching this video and if you want to have a discussion or drop a comment, please do so in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep a lookout for more videos soon. Bye for now.